In the year 1993, there was a movie in Hollywood called In the Name of the Father. This movie was set way back in the 1970s when the IRA conflicts in the United Kingdom was at its peak. The plot of the movie revolved around two characters, Jerry and Paul, both Irishmen who were wrongly accused for a terrorist attack that happened in London. The public uproar was that the maximum and police wanted to have a scapegoat so that they can calm the noises. So what did the police do? They put Jerry and Paul in two different rooms and they were threatened with dire consequences if they don't confess to the crime. Now look at the situation. Jerry and Paul were not able to talk to each other. Two separate rooms and both were threatened with a similar kind of equation and Jerry didn't know what Paul is doing. If he commits to the crime, uh, which he has, by the way, not done, uh, he'll be in trouble. If he doesn't commit to the crime and if Paul commits to it, there'll be trouble again for him. And same goes to Paul as well, vice versa. So why am I talking about this movie to you today? This is because uh, I want to have some videos recorded on game theory. This is my second video in the series and I hope you like uh, this series and uh, this particular video as well. Game theory, um, if you want to define in simple term, are rational people taking uh, decisions in conflicts and cooperative environment when they are intertwined in a commingle closed system. Uh, this particular uh, game theory is known as prisoner's dilemma. Uh, prisoner's dilemma is, ex as the name indicate, are two people taking simultaneous decision, but they cannot see each other's decision and the outcome of that will impact them one way or the other. So um, why, am, why prisoner's dilemma is important in day-to-day -day life? Uh, we see that in all the courses of life, you know, you know, in business setup, in corporation setup, in a personal life. And it is very important to understand the rules of the game so that you can play it well next time you are in a similar situation. Uh, prisoner's dilemma was first uh, coined by Merrill Flood and uh, uh, Melvin Drescher way back in 1950 when they worked together. Uh, in an organization known as RAND. Uh, the concept of this, as I explained, is, you know, where you are questioned um, about situation, regardless of whether you are in that situation or not, and then you have to take a decision based upon certain guesswork that what the other party is doing. Uh, the right action in this is you do not uh, defect, right? So you, you basically do not confess to the crime in the example of the movie I took. But more often than we no, people do confess to a crime because in anticipation that how the other party will respond to, uh, they take certain action, uh, which sometimes daily impact them. Uh, now, how do we see uh, this playing out in, in the normal corporate and the world that we live in? Let's say, for example, the strip mall that is next to your house, um, it has a grocery store. It has a nice setup where all the people in and around the community is going and buying stuff. It is enjoying the monopoly. All of a sudden, um, you, the grocery store sees that there's another, uh, another store coming in the neighborhood. And that's where the entire conflict happens. Now, the prisoner's dilemma in this case is the first grocery store doesn't know how the second grocery store will react. If they both stay calm, give the same price point, probably the footfall will reduce, but again, they can still have profit or shared profit, so to say. But let's say, for example, if one of them drops price, you know, the footfall will increase on the other grocery store, but again, the profit will go down. Similarly, there'll be a war on price. The other person has to drop price as well, sometimes with the first or the second grocery store price. And in that case, what is happening is they are trying to compete against each other and there's a lose-lose game. What is the best course of action? Best, best course of action is they talk to each other and they come to equilibrium. But in a corporate setup, usually, that is not possible because the antitrust laws, because Government wants the customer to be the final beneficiary of this. If corporate comes together, they can decide on what market they will operate upon. They can decide on creating a monopoly on the price point. They can create high price point on both sides and enjoy a lofty profits. Uh, that's the reason why the antitrust laws, they do not allow a corporation to come together and uh, you know, create a kind of a monopolistic or, uh, or environment where customers are not benefiting from. Uh, so what do you do in, uh, do in certain cases if you face in your day-to-day -day life? Um, there are three situations that you will be in, right? The first situation is you are in a equilibrium. In maths world, it's known as Nash equilibrium. If you want to read more, please go ahead and search on that term, which is the optimum level where both benefits. 
which is in this case, if I take the example of the grocery store, they both uh, account to a price point that they want. Uh, they will be footfall on both. They'll, they'll make profit and they'll all be benefiting out of it. And the second situation is where uh, one become a bad actor and they break the equilibrium and they go ahead and in this case reduce uh, the price and that way is in there will be a price war and who benefits the, the customer uh, at the cost of their profit. And the third situation is you know you become the bad character first uh, in, in your look, looking myopic you want to make profit now uh, in the lieu of what will happen in the future. So how do you do this uh, or how do you deal with this situation? I think in the first statement on this is best is if you can talk to the other party if you can great that will bring down um, the Nash equilibrium right there and then second is if not find the thresholds that you can play with and threshold you cannot play with and then you do a, a mathematical equation of you know how much of profit you want to take home versus how much losses you can take and based upon that I'm taking again the example of grocery store there could be other situations in life as well but you draw what is your bottom limit so that you don't go beyond that and the best is without speaking to each other you find the equilibrium accordingly so that you know that you're not talking to each other uh, but at the same time you know the range and the zone you need to play uh, so that you can make maximum profit at the same time become competitive in the environment but this is an example of the grocery store i took or the prisoner's dilemma from the movie i took there could be personal situation as well and i hope you like what you heard in the next video i'm going to talk about another game theory known as um, game of chicken uh, more from that in the next video so if you do like it please do share uh, like give your comments back and let me know what you want to hear about game theory in the subsequent in the coming videos thank you once again for listening take care now bye